What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to go over the fastest and the most efficient way to complete the six inning program dropping tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button down below and make sure your notifications is turned on so you can get notified every time a new video goes live, whether it's stub tips, XP methods, or Madden 22 tips. Shout out to the MVPs and the MVP elites. New merchandise is down below. We got the Tutty Squad styling on them. Don't be ahead of your whole life. Let's get into today's MLB The Show 21 method. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. All right, so the first method we're going to go over is the ball player method. Now, you can't simulate. You have to play the game, so the method takes a little longer. But in this video, I'm going to go over the fastest and most efficient way to be able to complete the six inning program or at least get to the 350,000 XP threshold so you can get that boss and you can sell them for over 600 to 700,000 stubs. You want to be one of the first and quickest people to get them so you can make a lot of stubs and then you can use them stubs to buy any player that you want. I have been over a million stubs for the past two months grinding the market, roster investments and all that good stuff. So if you go right here, if you was to start off with a very low player like Speedy Slickster, you go to Speedy Slickster, you go down here to programs, you can see I got zero completed out of the Speedy Slickster. But how you gonna get XP out of this is in all of these stub areas. So at the end, you're gonna get 6,000 XP, but you're gonna get 6,000 XP over and over and over. So 6,000 XP right there. Every one of these S's with the stubs, you're gonna get free stubs and free XP. So here's another 6,000 XP, 6,000 XP, 6,000 XP. So six, 12, 18, 24,000 XP just playing the game. Now you can go into the vault and use the Colorado Rockies roster. They're going to be all 99 overall players and then the rest of the teams is going to be one overall. That's the best roster to use so you can score a lot of points. You can get more at bats. If y'all want me to break down that video again, I will link it in the description on how to do the ball player method. Now, once you level up your people and you start going into the higher levels, once you get up to the tool shed, the hawk, or even the golds, you will see when you go to the program, you get more. So 8,000, 16, 24, 32,000. So you complete one, that'll be about 24,000. Now you're going to get 32,000. You are getting close to 70, 80,000 XP already just by grinding the game, something that you already do. Now you can mix in the walk method or the pitching method, whichever one you want. I have that also on the channel and I will link that down in the description. You can do the walk method if you want to, up to about 350 runs, but you will only be getting between 9,000 and 12,000 XP. You won't be getting the 20, 25,000 XP like you used to. But still, this is the fastest and most efficient way to do it. So you just going in there and you playing your games, you hitting the ball a couple of times, make sure that you play at Coors Field, or if you on next gen, you can play with your own creative stadium so you get more home runs, extra base hits, all that. So you can see right here, you're gonna be getting XP at each one of these symbols right here will be XP for you. Now now, once you get into these diamond tiers, you start going to 9,000 XP and 11,000 XP, and then that's each and every time. So 11,000 right here, 11,000 right here, 11,000 right here, 11,000 right here. You are already over 150 to 170 thousand xp just grinding the game that's not even what doing collections that's not all the other things they're going to put out with the programs so you can get this done in the first 48 hours just by playing the ball player mode mixing in the walk method one to two times a day that's going to get you another 20 to 30 thousand xp this right here will put you up to about a hundred thousand xp in the first day and then you just rinse and repeat now with the six inning program if you didn't complete the shark map that is a good way to be able to play very easy games and get XP 
going towards your six inning program and then they will also have a collections down here that you can lock in they're going to have more programs that release that you can lock in out of all these right here 50,000 35,000 35,000 35,000 you will already be over the 350 thousand xp threshold so you will be able to get your player in the first two to three days a lot of people are going to be grinding for six to eight hours right away you can get that player and still make at least five hundred thousand stubs if you do all these tips in the first three days okay easy stubs that you can use for anything even if you don't even want to finish the whole program just get to that first inning boss sell him real fast and get your guaranteed stubs now Day four, day five, day six, his price will start dropping down to the 350,000 range. Now, you want to make sure that you get all this completed after you drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button. Get the six inning ball, sell them off for 500,000 or more stubs. It's all about making stubs, plus the roster update should be dropping tomorrow. So if y'all have the Jake Cronenworths, if y'all have the Iglesias, all them type of good cards, you can either cash out at 4,700 or more, or we can all hope and wait that they get upgraded. If y'all want more content like this on the channel, drop a like on the video to let your boy know. Cause if y'all rocking with me, you know I got y'all. Let's get it.